Good morning, everyone. Good morning, good morning. Peace, love, and light. This is Tasha with Intuitive Scorpio Tarot, and I am back to bring you guys another quick reading. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening at the time that you read this message or hear this message, I should say. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. Go ahead and hit that subscription button. I would love to have you as a part of my Scorpio Stinger family. Remember, guys, this is general, so it's not going to resonate with every Scorpio. So only take what resonates, leave what doesn't, okay? All right, so let's get started. Holy Spirit, I call upon you right now to join me in this reading for the star sign of Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Show me what I need to see. All right, so the first card that flipped out was a new home. So, some of you guys could be getting a new home very soon. Maybe you have a new home in your mind that you're wanting to purchase. At the bottom of this deck, we have happiness. So, <clears throat> this new home, I don't know for sure where it will be located, but maybe some of you guys are praying for a new home. You could be manifesting a new home, or maybe you will be moving into a new home soon, okay? All right, so we're going to see what this is about. I want to call upon Archangel Michael to protect me as I channel the messages for Scorpio. Let no weapon form against me shall prosper. Any demonic forces, evil eye, witchcraft, any low vibrational energy or spell work that's coming towards my home, my family, or my channel, I ask that you re remove that energy, return it back to sender, 10,000 fold in Jesus' name, and it is so. Amen and amen. All right, guys, let's get started. Also, keep in mind, Friday through Sunday, of course, as you guys remember, um, two free questions for $10. Uh, my cash app is actually down in my description box. So if you have any questions, it can be yes or no questions. This can be about love, general, anything. Um, my email is also down there. So if you have any questions, you can email me, okay? Spirit, tell me about a new home for Scorpio. What is that about? Thank you. All right, so we have the Ten of Wands here. Hmm. Tell me more, a new home for Scorpio. What is this about? All right, so we have the Page of Wands. Uh-oh. I'm already kind of getting what this is. Tell me more, Spirit, a new home. So some of you guys may have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius within your chart somewhere. Oh, look at this. We got the Nine of Swords. Well, the main thing I noticed right now is there's two people with their hair down. Like they're crying or worried. But I'm going to let you guys know what I see here. Ace of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Scorpio. I don't know what you're worried about because God is about to bless you with a new home. This is a blessing. The Ace of Pentacles is my blessing card. You're about to get a blessing of a new home, but you, you guys are sitting up at night worried about it. You're in your head. You think it too much. Some of you guys may be having anxiety because you're waiting on some good news. Maybe you're waiting to get approved for a home. Page of Wands. So good news is coming to you. This is definitely going to be a blessing, but it seems to me you guys are constantly thinking about it. You up at night worried about maybe purchasing a new home. Maybe you've already applied. But I see with that page of wands, someone is going to communicate with you about this new home. But also this ten of wands, you're stressed out. You're worried. It's like you're waiting on a phone call or something. But some good news is definitely coming towards you in regards to a new home. You are definitely stressed out about this. What's at the back? You see two of swords. Queen of Swords. Look at there. A home. Four, four of Wands represent a home. Four of Wands also represents celebration. Someone could be graduating, but this is a home. The Four of Wands also is 11-11. You may be seeing 11-11 on the timer. Hmm. You guys, it's, it's honestly, it seems like you're about to celebrate at a new home. Possibly had a, have like a, what is it called? When you buy a new home, like you cut the ribbon. There's going to be like a celebration or party celebrating this new home. But see, you guys are sitting back worrying about it. But this is God's hands right here. The Ace of Pentacle. This is a blessing you've been waiting on and you worried about it. With the Two of Swords being here. 
Hmm. It's kind of almost kind of like you don't see this coming in so many ways. You don't see it coming. Hmm. All right, so let's get this broken down. <clears throat> And of course, as always, guys, in all of my readings, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. For some reason, I'm getting someone is sitting up at night thinking about this new home. Maybe you've already applied for it and you're not worried whether you're going to get approved or not. Hmm. It's kind of like almost your current home, you're not happy there. You have a lot of burdens or stress at the current home that you at, so this is why you may be applying for a new home. Huh. All right. Tell me about the Ten of Wands. Tell me about the Ten of Wands for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Tell me about the Ten of Wands for Scorpio. Thank you. Huh. Page of Wands. Excuse me. Page of Swords. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. I just heard someone is looking online. You're looking online from a home and it's kind of stressing you out. You've been researching. You could have been on places like, I don't know, like Zillow, Home.com. But the page of source talks about online. So you've been researching online and you're stressed out for this new home. Tell me more. Ten of Wands. about ten of wands. Tell me more about the ten of wands for Scorpio. Some rising and Venus. Um, thank you, Spirit. We have the four swords here. Huh. Bottom of the deck, we have the ace of wands. Huh. So we got two aces here. So of course, aces represents blessing from the most high. A lot of you guys have been praying. While you're searching, you're praying at the same time because you're stressed out. You're looking. And I feel like also I just heard you taking a break from looking. Because you're getting stressed out looking for a new home, you're, you're like it's kind of like you're taking breaks in between from researching. And then the Ace of Wands and the High Frontier. Well, see, four of wands is coming up again. This is talking about a house. And then we also have the higher front that's right behind the ace of wands. Hmm. So let's see what the Page of Wands is about. So Page of Wands talks about good news. You may be getting a phone call or something. So let's see what this is about. Tell me about the Page of Wands for Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Some type of communication you're going to receive. But usually Page of Wands are good news. Tell me about Page of Wands for Scorpio. Oh. Tell me about the page of wands. Clarify the page of wands. Thank you. Guys, this card keep coming out. Four wands. This is talking about a house. You're going to get communication about this house. Or, I just heard here from Spirit, this communication that you're going to get is going to cause you to celebrate. 
And then right, what came out right behind that is the Queen of Swords. Oh, you're going to be guarded. This is you, Scorpio, the Death card here. Then we have the Knight of Cups. And then we have the Six of Wands here. That Four of Wands keep coming out. That's celebration. That's happiness, joy, a new home. Whatever this good news you're going to receive about this new home, you're going to be so happy and celebrating. But you're also going to set boundaries or you may end up cutting some people off once you get this good news. Hmm. It is kind of almost like you're going to be getting a lot of praises, of congratulations. I'm seeing a lot of, I'm hearing congratulations for this good news with the Six of Wands here. Hmm. But you're going to definitely receive communication about this house. After all the searching, being stressed out, staying up late, all the research that you've been doing, even though you've been taking breaks, I also feel like for some reason that four of swords is telling me that you've been praying. Because as you see how he looks on here, he's laying on top of a casket with the swords on the wall. So you've been praying for this. Yeah. Tell me about the nine of swords for Scorpio when it comes to a new home. I really, for some reason I'm getting, you're really going to be protective of this home with that queen of swords. Yeah. Protecting of your home. It's kind of like you're going to be willing to allow people to come to, you know, celebrate your, your new home. But at the same time, you're going to be very discerning of who you have around you. Tell me about nine of swords when it comes to a new home for Scorpio. So Queen of Swords is um, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. I see a lot of swords here. You've been in your head a lot. <clears throat> and then it's more swords here and there's also wands. So new beginnings, happiness, joy. Tell me about the Nine of Swords. The Nine of Swords can also represent nightmares, anxiety. Well, let me see what this is about. Tell me about Nine of Swords. Tell me about nine of swords for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Holy Spirit. We have the Moon, Cancer, Pisces, Energy. Tell me more. Hold on, guys. Before I shuffle, what I just heard just now from Spirit, when I look at the Moon card, you're not going to see this coming. You may be sitting up at night thinking about this new home. You're worried because you're ready to have a new place for you and your kids, or you're just ready to be in a different area, but you're worried. You're worried about it. You're thinking a lot about it, but you're needing to also hear, follow your intuition. But I, for some reason, I feel like spirit is, they're not letting you see what's coming, even though you're worried. Because the thing is, you got to keep in mind when you pray about something, you can't worry about it either. So it's like over here, you're praying for a new home, but then at the same time, you up at night, can't sleep because it's on your mind. You know? Hmm. Tell me more, nine of swords. Because the moon and the nine of swords, as you see both of these cards, this is at nighttime. It's dark in the back of this room for this young lady who has her hand over her face. And the moon is representing by the nighttime. So all is, it's something dealing with the nighttime. You can't sleep. You're thinking a lot. Tell me more, nine of swords. I'm seeing two fours here. Some of you guys can be 44 years old. Ace of Wands just came out again here. Yeah, this is going to be a new passionate beginning for you guys. A blessing from the Most High. So we have two aces here. While you're worried, crying, having nightmares and fears, you don't know that God and the universe is working behind the scenes for you. To bring you this new passionate beginning. Wow. Oof. I'm happy for you, Scorpio. Look at that. As soon as I say happy, the sun card is here. Leo energy. Some of you guys can definitely have Leo in your chart. Hmm. 
But then right below that, we have the Ten of Swords and the Three of Wands. Yeah, you've been waiting for a while. You've been waiting. Waiting to get this confirmation for... But see, for some reason, I'm getting like you guys expecting the worst. Because this Ten of Swords is here. Hmm. Almost to a point like you want to give up. Let's see, we go from the Nine of Swords to the Ten of Swords. It's like you feel betrayed, backstabbed. It's like you're you're giving up. Keep in mind, guys, sometimes you can sabotage it. Thank you, Spirit. I know that's, uh, I had that in my energy. With this Ten of Swords and the um, Sun card, it's kind of like you sabotage your own happiness by sitting up at night wor worried about it. Mm-hmm. You sabotage your own happiness. Even if you don't intend to, that's what you're doing. Wow. Because you're sitting back waiting for this approval to come through. You're waiting for news for your ships to come in. Yeah. Wow. Hmm. So the Moon card, Cancer Pisces, Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Deep Gemini, the Ace of Wands is Fire Signs. Also Aries, Leo, Sag. Hmm. You're doing this worrying, having anxiety at night. Yeah, I, I keep, I, I heard you sabotage your own happiness. Mm hmm Tell me about Ace of Pentacles. What is the final message for Scorpio? And of course, guys, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If it doesn't apply, let it fly, okay? Tell me about Ace of Pentacles for Scorpio. All right, clarify Ace of Pentacles. So again, the Ace of Pentacles, that's my blessing card. So this is something you could have prayed about, you could have manifested. It's coming to you. We have the Five of Pentacles. This is coming after a time of struggling, hardship. Maybe some of you guys could have went through a homeless phase. May have lost a job. Maybe been put out, evicted or something. Hmm. Wow. Tell me more, Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, I'm getting someone here could have been evicted from a home or something like that. And you've been looking for a home for a while. And it's like you get, what's the word I'm looking for? It's kind of like you almost feel under pressure to find this home. Tell me more, Ace of Pentacles. And you're worried because you constantly keep looking and you're not able to find something. Even if this is not like an actual house, like a mortgage, this can be an apartment. You know, a home is a home. Ace of Pentacles. It's kind of like God is coming through for you after a time of struggle. After a time of struggle. Ace of Pentacles. Thank you. All right, so we have the Seven of Swords. Hmm. Why is the Seven of Swords here? We got Three of Swords here, and we also have the Nine of Cups. And we also have the Six of Pentacles at the bottom of that. Look at there, Eight of Swords here. See, you guys are in your head a lot. Look at all these swords on this, on this, uh, with this uh, reading here. Seven of Swords, Nine of Swords, Four of Swords, Queen of Swords, Eight of Swords, Three of Swords. You guys are in your head like crazy. Swords is nothing but mental. You're overthinking. You feel, it's like you feel trapped in your circumstances. You're heartbroken with the three of swords. Because you're wanting your wishes fulfilled. You're wanting your life to be balanced. But wherever you are, it's like you're trapped in your head. Like you're overwhelmed. You're think Again, it goes back to you thinking too much. Mm-mm.
let me see what is this seven of swords because of course seven of swords talks about you know being sneaky deceptive let me see what this is about spirit tell me what is this seven of swords what is this what is the seven of swords Or either that seven of swords, maybe you strategize on how to manifest this blessing after a time of going through hard times. But this is you right here, King of Cups, this is Scorpio. Yeah, it's kind of like you were being strategically in how you're trying to maybe apply for this apartment or home, but you catch your feelings in check. It's kind of like you were doing it in a more wise way. You wasn't now, when I see the King of Cups, you're not doing it in a sneaky way. You're doing it in a way to get you out of the situation, that Five of Pentacles, from being homeless or temporary sit back. It's something that you're going through and you're strategically trying to figure out how to get out of it, but you're using your intuition. You're keeping your emotions stable and balanced at the same time. It's kind of, what's that word? What's that saying? Um, Kind of like not showing your hand almost. Yeah. Like you're not showing your hand in what you're doing. Hmm. Ace of Cups here. Not, look at here. We got three aces on, on the table here. Four of Cups and four of Pentacles. See, I'm seeing 444. 4444 here. You may be seeing that number on the timer as well. Hmm. Tell me more about this Seven of Swords. Some, for some reason, that, that card is sticking out to me. Tell me about Seven of Swords. Tell me more. Tell me more about this Seven of Swords for Scorpio. Because even though your energy is showing up that you're very wise and intuitive, there's something else behind this. Yeah, see, another seven. So you may be seeing 77, or you could have been born in 1977. Six of Cups. Hold on. This might be somebody else's energy. Because wait a minute. Six of Cups. This is someone from your past. Oh, hell. Knight of Cups. I noticed that energy didn't sit right with me. And then Nine of Wands. There's... Oh, Lord. I know you guys hate to talk about this. <laughs> it's something from... It's someone or something from your past that's trying to come towards you. But you're you're already guarded towards this part. You know what? This shit crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this this is off. Why is the seven of swords here? <sighs> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. This took a turn real quick. Okay, so now when I look at the ace of pentacles, this could be someone that's wanted a second chance with you. Someone is trying to get away. Okay, so let me show you guys what I see here. You see how this seven of swords and seven of cups is here? That's double sevens. So someone could have been born maybe July the 7th, or this could be a cancer or something. But someone is trying to get away from other options or choices. They're trying to sneak away from something or someone else because they're in a, they're in a fucked up situation right now. The five of pentacles is here. So that means someone here is wanting another chance because they're going through some hard times right now. Whoever this is, this may be, I don't know, this may be another Scorpio, but this person is still in love with you. Six of Cups, someone from your past who's going to try to come towards you and bring you an offer. This is all water sign here. But the Nine of Wands here, you're guarded. You're guarded towards this person. They're definitely taking action to come back towards you. Six of Swords here. Yep. Yeah, this is someone from your past, Scorpio. This person feels bad. They're feeling disappointment, having guilt, remorse, or regret for walking away from you. And now you have gone up. Nine of Pentacles. Holy. See? See what I'm saying? <laughs> someone else into your reading. Fast. Wow. This took a turn real fast. Wow. 
if this is not you, Scorpio, sitting up at night crying, doing all this thinking, this may be someone from your past. They're thinking about you. They're crying. They're, they can't sleep, having anxiety. You may not know this with the moon energy. That is Cancer Pisces energy. This may be hidden from you that someone wants a new beginning, but they're crying behind the scenes. Now, when I look at this Queen of Swords again, <sighs> Jesus Christ, Scorpio. <laughs> uh, it's like some kind of communication. Now, this definitely can still be about this new home, but this can also be someone trying to communicate to want to reunite with you. But you, you done set some boundaries, some strong-ass boundaries with this person. Child... <laughs> Oh, Lord. Now, also, now, I just heard from Spirit, this is the same person who's stressing out about you. This is someone who's talking and watching you. Sitting back, thinking, or you guys, this person is stressed out because, <laughs> this person is stressed out because you guys are in separation, so all they do is watch you. What kind of creepy shit is this? <laughs> Don't y'all, don't y'all be laughing at me in the comments because I know y'all. All this started because that's why that's seven of swords. Like, what the hell? Why would you be sneaky trying to get a new home? Like, that didn't make any sense. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's going to be, I'm sorry. Like, everything was so happy for you. And then here come that seven of swords. Somebody trying to get away from some other shit to come towards you. You know what? Y'all, I'm done. I'm done. Scorpio, I know this didn't sit right with me. Like, why is this here? So you may be seeing 44. Um 11, 11 possibly. 77. That can resonate with you. Yeah, this this somebody who possibly you walked away from, or they walked away from you. This person got some guilt remorse from Look at all these cups. This is definitely a water sign. Six of Swords. This person wants to take action to come towards you. King of Wands. They can be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but see, you're guarded. You ain't trying to hear that shit. It, it, it's over with. You see, right now, all you're focused on is your happiness on the back of this deck here, and you're ready to have a new path. You're trying to get yourself grounded with the root chakra card being here. Yeah. See, between you and this past person, there's too many trust issues. Way too many. Yep, trust issue, and that's why they lost an opportunity. <laughs> Oh, man, Scorpio, this is crazy. But I, I do, you know, for some of you, you know, this can be a past person that, you know, is <laughs> still trying to come back around. This took a turn real fast, guys. It really did. You may be seeing 99 because at the 18 with the moon card breaks down to a 9. Then we have the 9 of swords here. <sighs> oh, child. Well... Now, for others of you, as the, you know, story started off in the beginning, yes, you have been doing research on a home, and definitely, I do see God bless you after a time and period of being, you know, in a hard time in your life, you know, temporary hardship, feeling a lack mentality, lack energy, all of that is there. So, now, I also, with the Seven of Swords and the Seven of Cups, maybe you, ch you know, you had different options when it came to different homes or apartments. You know, and maybe you're just not interested in those. You're trying to get away from those. But that, you know, maybe you just don't want to deal with those options. Maybe these options with these other homes and apartments may be too good to be true. It's like an illusion almost. You know, they're telling you got the two-car garage and all this other shit that come with it. You know, the extra things. So maybe you're trying to get away from that. That's for some of you. Don't take that if it don't resonate. Whoa. <laughs> this took a turn. <laughs> All right, Scorpio. Child, that's what I got for you. As always, like I said, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. I'm going to end it right here. Thank you so much, guys, for joining me in this reading. I appreciate you so much. If you're new to the channel, definitely hit that subscription button. I would love to have you as a part of my Scorpio single family. Peace, love, and light. And I'll see you on the next video, guys. Bye-bye.